we are in the Peak District. Look how beautiful that is. You've got rivers, bridges there. And we're parking in the Monsell Head Hotel. Probably going to get some food there later, but that's where we're parking. This is quite breathtaking. Come a little bit further down now so we can see the view a bit closer. It's quite amazing. And we're going to be walking this. What about a five mile walk? Probably going to end up being six or seven, that would soon. But still, who doesn't mind walking in a place like this? And it's a lovely day. Weather's looking great. This is called the Headstone Tunnel. This is on level with the viaduct you've seen in the previous video. But look at this. Hello, 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 echo. Can you hear all the little water falling through? You hear all that? Wow. That's a quite a quite a big old bridge there. Wow. But we fortunately go this way. Where the light is. Here we are on the bridge now. Looks like it's burst its banks over there. So that's the river there, but it looks like it's come over quite far over. Look at that. Got ducks over there. <laughs> this is the other side. There we go. Cool. Wow. How cute are those houses, those cottages right by the river. This valley, it's lovely. It's so peaceful. We're walking at the moment a disused railway line and this would have been the old platform. Quite nice isn't it to think Trains used to come along here and pick up passengers. What does this say over here? What does that say? It's in memory. Yeah, to Barbara Mary Henschel, died in 2010, and Edwin Henschel, 2014. A Sheffield lass and a Blackpool lad who loved each other and this place. Well, it's a lovely place to love, that's for sure. Coming across now, the Creds Brook Tunnel, built in 1883, according to that stone. Yeah. I think we're going to have to put our hood up on this because quite a few droplets of water. This is pretty cool. Says don't touch the sides. I guess maybe the water's not good for you. <laughs> Only enter if the lights are on. Keep to the left because of horses. That's what it says. I don't see any horses yet, but I guess there will be. Maybe some trotting through every now and then. We're still in the tunnel, and this has been relatively bone dry here, where we've been. But now, it's wet again. <laughs> Look at it, pouring through here. Like it's only a little waterfall. I think we'll go to the left of it, see if we can miss some of it. Although I think we're, oh yeah, got a little, oh, not too bad. Oh, it's dipping down there as well. Ugh. And now, it's a bit dry again. Oh, we can see light at the end of the tunnel. So Peggy not only likes carrying big sticks. Peggy, come here. Look what she got, what she just dropped. Look at the size of that stone. Of all the other stones, she's got this great big one. She is crazy. 
Anything well beyond her size, she likes to pick up. I've got one nutty dog. I'm going to have four of them soon. Oh my life. We are now approaching Lytton Tunnel. Again, do not touch the sides. Do not enter if the unit... If, sorry, do not enter if unlit and keep left horses. So, hopefully, horses know to keep left as well. But I'm guessing they did a lot of blasting to bring to get these tunnels for the trains. All that effort, and it's not even being used today. Just don't seem right, does it? But I tell you what, these are well kept cut tunnels. They've done the job, haven't they? Quite amazing. Look at the size of that thing she's carrying now. Oh, she snapped it now. A dopey dog. Anyway, we're through the tunnel, through the other side, and uh, done about two miles so far. Weather's pleasant, surroundings are very pleasant, all very nice. Sky, weather, perfect. We have took a, a left now off the railway track and we're coming up a hill. That's opposite us. That's the hill we're going up. Oh yeah, it's going up all right. Hopefully. Won't be too bad. But uh, we're definitely in the shade at the moment. I'm walking on, on the sunny side. <laughs> we made it. That was a heck of a hill. Every time you turn around a bend, it just kept going up. See how high we are now. Oh, man, that got the old heart rate going. Poppy and Peggy did it like it was nothing. Whew. But what a view. So we're sat here. We're going to have a little snack up here, I think, and chill for a bit. Just when you think you can't get any higher up this hill, we keep climbing. We're still going up at the moment. And the view just keeps getting better as we climb. It is beautiful at the moment up here. We really couldn't ask for much better in December. The weather and the views, it is stunning. We thought it might be very wet underfoot, but as you can see, really good. But these views are lovely. So there was some sort of, I don't know, settlement here? Quite up and down here. Roman, I reckon. Roman or Viking, one of the two. And uh, we're pretty much at the top now, so we're at some point looking for a left to go back round that way. We're just following the footpath at the moment. This is beautiful up here. It's very peaceful. Probably walking past loads of buried gold or whatever, but you know, money doesn't mean much, much does it? Not going to buy you happiness. Although if I do come across a, a gold coin, I'm not going to say no. So it's the smallest little gate to open to go through. And you know those little lumps and bumps earlier I said it must be a settlement? It's actually mine shafts. And they could be liable to soil movement, so please be careful. So we're getting out of here. And now we're going left down here. We'll be in well following this track. This is our 360 view at the moment. It's just absolutely stunning. It's just so peaceful, so quiet. Just, you, well, you could be anywhere, couldn't you? I wonder how long I'd have to stand here until we met someone. It does make you feel really, really isolated out here, but beautiful. What a place to be lost. Not that we're lost. Coming through this little farm now. Well, that's a holiday cottage, believe it or not. And this is the farm, or part of it. We've gone through quite a big farm already, further up. But this is so pretty, isn't it? And I think we're definitely on our way back now. And the weather has been spectacular for us. Can't moan about that. But we're going back home tomorrow, so uh, what a lovely day to finish our little holiday on. There's many parts of the Peak District that reminds me of Dartmoor, which is lovely because Dartmoor is only an hour away where this is four or five hours away from home. But um, yeah, this is this is a beautiful place, but I think anywhere really with trees and rivers and lakes and blue sky is, is about right in there. But this has been a pleasure to walk, really lovely. And not met a soul yet. <laughs> no walk is complete without 
Dum -da -da -dum -dum -dum. We have cows. So, I've seen lots of sheep today. It's the first lot of cows I've seen. And now there's loads in the background, actually. Oh. Apart from the first hill, it's not really been too strenuous. It's been up and down a little bit, but nothing major. Poppy's made it look easy, which is good. And when you're walking around in places like this, don't mind, do you? It's just beautiful. Beautiful. That's a good idea, isn't it? Keep the animals watered. Dig a great big hole. Fill it with concrete. And then you've got like a little swimming pool almost. But they've always got something to drink. And we've got cows ahead of us here. Or is that horses? No, it's cows. And we're starting to go down now. So we're starting to uh, descend to our original destination. We're winding down still. We're still going down. The pub is up there to our right. So the pub is in sight. That's our destination. That's where we parked the car. Look at all the moss on this, on these rocks. Just goes to show how old this place is. We've got to be a bit careful because it's a little bit arduous. Although Peggy's making it look easy. But yeah, it's a little bit slippery, so you've got to be careful. And it'll probably just be one last climb up to the pub. And then some food. Here we are, back at the bridge that we uh, almost started on. We've just got to make our way up there, up there to the pub. So it's not far now, 10 minutes. That's a lovely walk. Sue planned it. Good circular walk as always. Loads of ducks down there and swans and all sorts. Yep, still got a bit of light as well. It's nice to be walking in daylight, which is always a bonus. Really enjoyed it. The good thing about climbing what is really quite a steep hill is that I know there's a pub at the top of it. <laughs> Whereas normally you go, oh, what's going to be at the top? More hills or come back down. I know, I've walked down this bit. So we're walking to the pub. That's our view just over there. Oh, it's beautiful. Here we go, we made it. Monsal Monsal Head Hotel. 6.3 miles. Hopefully it's open. Hopefully they're serving food. We'll see. But ah, oh, the car's just parked around the corner in the car park. But we made it. Woohoo! We're here. They're serving food. So Sue's ordered a pate with cheesy garlic bread. And I've ordered a steak and L pie with chips, mushy peas and gravy. And we've got the whole place to ourselves. Just what you need after a nice walk. Quite like this little place. Very cute. Very, very me. <laughs> nice and simple. Look at the size of this pie. My life. So that's mine. Chips, mushy peas, gravy and steak and kidney pie. And Sue's got her pate. And her cheesy garlic bread. And she's a happy woman. But that is a million and a half. <laughs> 